Hey YouTube, it's PC Tutorial here, and today I'm going to show you some basic hacking tips and tricks. Now these are very basic, but I'm doing this with the command prompt. The command prompt is a very useful tool to like hackers and stuff, but it reaches its limit eventually. But it's a good place to start. So um, you're going to go to start, and there's three ways you can open this. You can type in C. Not bad. You can go to start and type in CMD, and it will pop up right here. And hold on, see it will pop up right here. And normally it would be a, uh, it would it would be black and have white letters in it. But I customized mine. I'll make a video later and show you how to customize it. But if you would like it to be green to look a lot cooler, you could type in color space A, and it will be green. But um, that's one way. Another way is to type in command prompt. It's right here. And that pops up as white and everything. And there's one more way. And you can uh, hit the Windows key. It, it looks like this. Hit the Windows key and type in type Windows R. And then type in right here CMD. Now, some schools and stuff block this. So uh, I'm going to actually show you how to also open it without a, when it's blocked, like libraries and schools are blocked this so they don't get hacked. So you can open up the notepad always. Again, I customized my notepad. I got a download. That's why it looks like this. But you type in start. And then you hit file, save as, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it CMD and put dot .bat. Dot .bat is a batch file runner, so it runs a batch file. So when I saved it, you can look for it on your computer now. So cmd dot dot .bat, and here it pops up. And it should be like these little gears. You can drag it to your desktop, whatever. But it should be these little gears and everything, and you just click it, and then this pops up, and it's the command prompt. But sometimes schools block it. So yeah, um. So let's get to it. I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to do it this way. CMD. Now, this is, I'm going to show you a couple. So if you really don't like, if you really just want to know everything off bat and type slash help. I mean, what? My bad. You would type just help. You wouldn't type slash help. You just type help. And bring up all that. But that's not all of them. To clear the page, you type CLS. Doesn't really do anything. So say you want to open. No, let's just say you uh. Oh, okay. So type net user, and that should bring up all the uh, users on the computer you're on right now. So say I'm on library computer, admin pop up. Now. Now, um, you can type something like this, net user admin, um, administrator, s-n-t-r-a-t-o-r, and then you can type, and hit just hit enter, and it'll tell you all the information about that. But if you were to type that in again, and type space, and then shift 8, it makes a little star, you hit enter. You can change the password for that user. But to change the password for an administrator, you have to be an administrator. But you can do it to any other person. Like, say, your friend didn't really mean to you. You can actually change his password, even though you're not an administrator. But you still have to um, be an administrator to actually change the administrator's password. I'm going to show you how to get past um, blocked websites on your computer at home, okay? I mean, at the school and everything. So, once you open up this again, clear it, hold on. Bring this down for you. Once you open up the CMD again, you can type something like this. So, you type ping in the website you want to go to. So, ping sends packets of information, and the website, if it's up and running, sends packets back. So, let's just say ping, uh, Say they block Google for some reason. I don't know why they would block Google. If they did, your school would probably be really messed up. But you ping Google, ping www.google.com, hit enter. Now it's 
sending information to Google and it's gotten three replies back. So we got reply from this IP address right here. That's the apply. So that's Google actually. So if I was to actually click this, like copy this IP address, hit control you to copy stuff without actually right clicking, you can hit control C. It copies. And then go to the internet. Let's go to the internet. I'll make this a little bigger for you guys. And let's type in that IP address. So let's paste that IP address. Oh poop. Um okay, let's just look at the IP address. So the IP address is seven four dot one two five. So seven four dot one two five and then it's dot two two five dot sixteen. Dot two two five dot sixteen. Enter. And look, it brings me to Google because that's Google's IP address. You can do the same thing for Facebook if they were to block Facebook. Um just to prove that it works, let's do ping face www.facebook.com three one dot thirteen. So let's type in three one dot thirteen. Three one and it has to be in a suggested bar. Three one dot thirteen dot six nine dot one six zero. So dot six nine dot one six zero enter look it brings you to facebook.com so you, even if it's blocked you can get past it by using the, the website's IP address okay um something else so this is really funny to pull off to like your friends say they're doing something on your computer or say they're doing something that you don't want them to do or you just want to be put out like totally a mean troll or like you just want to be really funny to your friends, you can type this. This is going to shut down any computer on the Wi Fi network. Some people on YouTube say it's going to shut down any computer in the world. That's not true at all. It only shuts down the computer on your Wi Fi network. And I mean, it's pretty funny, but like, you, don't, you need their IP address. And to get their IP address, you actually have to do this to your computer. So, say you have a friend named Bob, and he gets up and goes to the bathroom in school. When nobody's looking around, you walk up to his computer and open the command prompt and you type in IP C O N, so IP con fig. So IP con fig, you hit enter. It brings up this. And it says IP right here, it says IP4, IPv4 address. That's his IP address right there. And it shows the gateway and it shows submit mask. And if you really wanted this all, you type IP config slash all. And it'll bring up everything. But you don't need everything. So let's just go back up to his IP address. And that's his IP address. So this is the computer's IP address. And then you write that down somewhere. And then you go back to your computer. And when you go back to your computer, this is what you need to do. You need to type, um, what's it called? Shut down. Dash I. Enter. It's going to bring up this little box and you hit add. And then computer names. And you type in his IP address. So 192.168.1.3. Okay. You. What do you want it to do? You can shut it down. You can display a warning. I want it for 10 seconds. Um, you can say why it's shutting down. I'm going to say operating system recovery. Um, and I'm going to say. You have to put a comment down, so I'm going to be like hacked. No, Bob, you suck. Just say, Bob, you suck. And then you hit OK. I'm not going to hit OK, guys, because the IP address I just typed in is my IP address. So when it when I hit OK, it's going to shut down my computer. Actually, no. You know what I can do? I have a little program that's going to stop it, so hold on. Um... Where are you? 
So. Down. Dash. I'm just typing, trying to find my file. So. Oh my god. I'm just gonna make a whole new one. So I can show you what this does. Okay, so I have it up. So now, if I type, let me find my file. I just made I made a file so it doesn't shut me down, but you can still see what it does. Shut down dash a. Um, bring it to the computer. Oh my god, I'm not admin on my own computer, which is kind of bullcrap. So it's just. Um, block block shutdown. It's right here. Okay. So basically, when I go back to this box and I was to hit OK, let's make the warning actually um, 30 seconds again. We hit OK. It, Bob, you suck. And this is what's gonna pop up on his computer. But I don't want to shut down, so I'm gonna click this. Cause if I shut down, I can't record anymore. But log off is canceled because I uh, blocked it with the shutdown block. But um. If he wouldn't know how to do any of that, and he would totally get shut down, like, say he was making a Word document, and he didn't put a warning on there, his whole Word document would not get saved, and he would be shut down. That's There's just some pretty basic uh, tricks. The last one I'm going to show you is net view. And I can, I'm can i going to make several other um, tutorials with the command prompt. It's a very useful tool, and it's really cool. Um, so... Net view is it sh what it does is it shows all the computers on the Wi-Fi network, and through there you can be like Net view, and that's th that's my grandma's computer right there. So I could type something like this: her computer name, so Linda dash PC, and then try trace search. That trace search is gonna trace her computer, right? The crap tracer Linda dash not bad. Trace Ert Linda dash PC. So you type tracer dash in the computer you want to trace, and right here it says the computer's name. This is basically like the the same thing that says Linda, but it's in a, if it's like in a different way to spell. So say you like had a download on your computer that like would shut down other computers. You could type this in and it would shut down that computer like I have a program I installed on my um phone and it shuts down the computer or I can control it or anything and like I use that I use this to find to actually control it and actually I said that would be the last thing but there's one more thing I'm going to show you guys uh let's see oh how to DDoS like a website you would type Let's just open a ton of these. Start. You type start to open more. So I'm not gonna open enough to do this because I don't wanna, you know, like be bad because I'm um, don't do really too much bad stuff. So I don't do bad stuff any like more. But um, so you would use these and you would type in ping and then the website you want to DDoS. And DDoS is like overloading it with information. So I would type like ping Google. Um, dot com dash t and it'll just ping this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and it pings it forever and eventually it sends so much information that the uh the website will crash um but you can't really do that to Google because Google has like several thousands of computers running it but you can do it to like a um, website that's ran by some like five year old at home but I mean it's pretty cool and uh. So, yeah, I'm going to make a part two to this, and uh, I hope you liked this video. Thanks for all your support, guys. It's really been um, awesome. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. Uh, if you can click that subscribe button or at least click like, that will be pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, PC Tutorial, logging out.